Do you have high Hashimoto thyroid antibodies? And do you want to lower your antibodies, get on top of your autoimmune disease so you're able to send it into remission or reverse it completely so you can start thriving again and most importantly, not cause further damage to your body and your organs. Hey, hey, Yulia Tavid here, certified holistic nutritionist at rossomhealthy.com. And together with my husband, Paul Tavid, we are here to help you create healthy hormones, healthy body, and the life of your dreams naturally. If you're brand new here, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, one of the first things that you need to realize about autoimmune diseases is that autoimmune diseases are progressive in their nature. And that means that they're just not gonna stop by themselves unless you take measures to reverse them. And what will happen is that one autoimmune disease will keep on progressing and it can become two autoimmune diseases that you're suddenly dealing with, three autoimmune diseases, four and more. So you have to reverse it and take care of your body do not ignore it, do not suppress it, you need to take action. Now, when I discovered that I had high Hashimoto's antibodies, that was way into my thyroid journey already. And I simply had no idea when I first got diagnosed with hypothyroidism, got put on thyroxine medication, that the root cause of thyroid disease in the majority of cases is Hashimoto's. So I had to do my own search and I had to come across this information myself. And when I discovered that I had ha Hashimoto's antibodies, I understood that I need to take action and I need to lower my antibodies and also send my Hashimoto's into remission. So heaven took the steps that I'm about to share with you and stick with me right to the end because the last step is a very important one when you are working on your autoimmune disease. I have to tell you, if you've got an autoimmune disease, get on top of it now. Don't make it get worse. So let's dive into the steps that have helped me and are going to help you as well. So the very first step is reducing inflammation in the body. So if you've got an autoimmune disease, the very first step that you need to focus on is reducing inflammation in the body. And how are you gonna do that? Well, you're gonna do that by switching to plant foods. Why? Because science shows when you are excluding eggs, dairy, meat, you are going to be lowering your C-reactive protein. What is a C-reactive protein? Well, it's, it's an inflammatory marker that is found in people with autoimmune diseases. So if you've got an autoimmune disease, go and check your C-reactive protein. If you are eating animal foods in your diet, it's probably going to be high. Your priority is to make sure that you're reducing that inflammation in your body. And again, the best diet for it, according to science, is going to be a plant foods diet plan. So when you are listening to high fat keto paleo gurus who say that there is absolutely no way you can build your body and reverse autoimmune disease without relying on animal products, that is absolutely not true. And studies show that that is not true. And studies show, prove over and over again that the best diet to help you reverse autoimmune disease and reduce inflammation in your body is going to be a plant foods lifestyle plan. Why? Well, because plant foods especially if your diet is built upon fruits and vegetables, which is what we promote, a high carbohydrate, high fruit diet that includes plenty of raw fruits and vegetables in it. When you're consuming that diet, you are reducing inflammation in your body. And if you've got an autoimmune disease, if you've got inflammation in your body, not only it's going to be affecting, in case of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, your thyroid, that inflammation is going to be affecting your whole body in a negative way. It's gonna put strain on your kidneys. So it's going to start causing stiffness as well. So you can start getting you know, arthritis-like symptoms and you must, must, must make sure that you're reducing inflammation in your body. Again, the best plan for it is go with fruits and vegetables, go with plants, go on a plant foods lifestyle, but make sure you build it the right way. Make sure you are eating it the right way so you're not becoming deficient in essential nutrients and you can thrive and build your body in a new way. I have a question for you. How did you discover that you've got Hashimoto's? Was that your doctor who made the suggestion or did you have to dig deep yourself and understand that you must test for your Hashimoto's antibodies? Let me know in the comment section below. In my case, it was certainly me, myself, looking for answers and then going to doctors and asking them to test me. It wasn't suggested to me by doctors. Now, the second step, especially if you're eating a lot of plant foods already, but you still have problems with your autoimmune, is going to be 
excluding plant foods, yes, even plant foods that can cause inflammation in your body. You see, when people think that plants and vegan food is great, you need to know that there are certain plant foods that can still negatively affect your health, especially if we're talking about Hashimoto's autoimmune disease or autoimmune diseases in general. So those foods are going to be foods like gluten, corn, which is a gut irritant, those foods are going to be grains and legumes for some people. Some people with an autoimmune disease are not going to be affected by grains and legumes. And we've seen it with hundreds of the clients that we've coached over the years. They can eat grains and legumes, they reverse their autoimmune disease, no problem. Some of the clients, however, are still reacting to certain proteins that, contain, that are contained even in gluten-free grains. So you need to work and see what works best for you and possibly Go on a diet that excludes grains and is loaded with fruits and you can eat some root vegetables, for example, like potatoes, sweet potatoes instead to bring in the calories that you might need. And as well as eating fruits and vegetables, lots of green leafy vegetables, lots of veggies in your diet. You can also bring in some root veggies like potatoes and sweet potatoes to make sure that you are eating sufficient amount of calories. Now, with my experience personally, when I had high Hashimoto's antibodies, I was following a raw food diet and I still had high Hashimoto's antibodies because there were issues in my body outside the raw food diet that I needed to fix and those issues were uh, addressing gut health and addressing viruses and pathogens in my body and rebuilding all that. So I could not tolerate any grains or legumes. I would feel very tired, very bloated. And with time, as I kept on rebuilding my gut health and I kept on rebuilding my body, I was able to start tolerating some. And I even noticed that grains and legumes were not sending my Hashimoto's antibodies through the roof. So you need to work with your body and see what works best for you. And ideally work with someone who can help you and guide you and coach you through this journey because it's a complex journey and you need to implement a lot of things in the right way in order for that healing to happen. Now, the third very important area, and uh, you simply cannot ignore that one, is going to be your environment. So what is your environment like? Are you exercising? What is your lifestyle like? Are you constantly stressed? Is your life full of anxiety because you're just so disconnected from yourself and you're not attuning to yourself in the right way? You're not, you're not moving in the right direction. All those issues can also affect your health and all those issues can also cause a lot of diseases, including an autoimmune disease. So one of the best ways for you to tune with yourself is to build that gut brain connection so for that you need to have a healthy gut health and we'll talk about that in a second but most importantly it's about going into that place within you where you are taking steps that help you grow where you're no longer neglecting yourself where you no longer uh, not prioritizing yourself enough where you understand that you know what my health is everything because when you have your health you can be there for your loved ones. You can have the most successful career you desire and have all the success in the world. You can have an amazing social life. You can have an amazing love life. You can keep on achieving your goals and you can keep on feeling good and looking good. And for that, you need your health. So understand that you are the priority and also there's things that maybe your gut is pushing you towards, those challenges and those certain things that you will need to restructure in your life are there for your healing. So you need to do those things and you need to be brave and boldly face your desires and build your life in the way you want. So you're not disconnected and the further, the more disconnected from yourself you are, the more sick you might become. So see, seek that space of alignment within you where you are connected to your body, you're connected to the world around you and your environment is right for you and keep on building it and keep on improving it. Now, the next step, we've talked about gut-brain connection. This is an important one. If your gut is out of balance, and even on a healthy diet, we've worked with a lot of vegans and raw vegans, long-term raw vegans who came to us and they still had unbalanced gut health. So if your gut is out of balance and you've still got candida and dysbiosis, or maybe you've even got viruses, so certain viruses in your body, like Epstein-Barr virus, for example, and other viruses, healing is going to be very difficult. And those things by themselves can cause inflammation in the body. For example, one of the clients who came to us, we worked with her, had antibodies in the thousands, extremely high antibodies, had H. pylori. 
and her diet was not quite optimized and her lifestyle was not quite optimized. Well, guess what happened? After she addressed her H. pylori issues, which by the way can lead to ulcers, so if you've got H. pylori, you need to address it. After she addressed her gut health issues and after we helped her build the lifestyle plan that uh, we've been leading ourselves for the last 13 years and we coach our clients on. So again, high carbohydrate, high fruit, loads of carbohydrates, low fat, plant foods lifestyle plan, loaded with fresh fruits and vegetables. She was able with her antibodies to go from having antibodies in the 4,000s to completely normal levels. So that's the power of reversing those, so dealing with those bugs in your body and those viruses in your body then implementing the right lifestyle plan, the right nutrition plan, correcting certain deficiencies, and then rebuilding your health. So it's very, very important. And by the way, we've put together a free hormone reset plan with a one day meal plan to help you reset your hormones. All you need to do is to follow the links that you're seeing on the screen or go and read them in the description section. Now, last but not least, and this one is crucial when it comes to rebuilding your thyroid health and when it comes to reversing your autoimmune disease, is making sure that you are getting sufficient amount of nutrients. So let me give you an example. If you've got hypothyroidism, for instance, then your iron levels are probably going to be too low. Then your stomach levels are also probably going to be too low. And it is very important for you to test yourself for nutrients like iron and B12 and vitamin D and nutrients like folate, for example, and make sure that first you're consuming enough of those from your diet. And second, if you're deficient, then you're taking care of that and supplementing. So if your ferritin and iron levels are too low, then obviously you need to first eat sufficient foods that contain iron, plant foods. And second, you also need to supplement with iron. Yes, so that's imp an important one. And of course, also know that nutrients like B12, vitamin D, iron that we've talked about, zinc, which you can get from your diet, selenium, are very important nutrients when it comes to restoring the health of your thyroid and rebuilding the health of your thyroid. And if you are too low in those nutrients, then you need to include enough of those nutrients into your diet and also supplement, especially when it comes to B12, when it comes to vitamin D in a cold climate, if you live in a cold climate, if you are eating enough, if you're eating loads of iron rich foods, but your iron levels are still too low. And again, it's a big problem for people with hypothyroidism. So you must address those nutrients. And these are some of the key nutrients that you need to address in order to reverse your Hashimoto's and also improve the health of your thyroid. Okay, if you're wondering what is the step-by-step -step process that you can use in order to reverse your Hashimoto's disease, improve the health of your thyroid, rebuild the health of your hormones and create that beautiful looking body that you can maintain with ease year in and year out, then join us for our free online masterclass where we will show you the five steps that clients are using to rebuild the health of their hormones and their body. So that's where you can register and also see description for more details. Thanks so much for joining me for this video and I'm going to link this video to another video where we will show you what we eat in a day on a high carb plant foods lifestyle. See you there.